Woodpecker's Edge Rule. Four different sizes. Hey, let's check them out. I'm Rick. All depressing. Shut the heck up, you stinking boosters. This is the shack. Hello and welcome. Hey, first time stopping by new to the channel. Thank you so much for taking some of your time out to view. I always ask that you consider subscribing. If you do, ding, 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 ring that bell so you're notified when these videos do come out. Today, we're just going to go over a little bit on some newly acquired measuring instruments by Woodpecker. These are the edge rules and they come in sizes 6, 12, 24, 36. That's the 36 inch. <laughs> There's the 24 inch and I can get this in the screen 12 inch and the 6 inch. Check in the description below. I have the model numbers to each one of these. These are not a one time tool so they are available directly through Woodpecker. I know a lot of people are going like, why? Woodpecker costs too much. They're this, they're that. You know what? It's no different than some people hate Forge, some people hate Chevy, some people hate Dodge, you know, it's just whatever. It don't matter. I'm not brand specific. I like things that are going to help me in my building and keep me, I guess, on that, keep me to the level that I like to try to strive for. Unfortunately, when you get older, your eyes don't work as well, you know, and you just don't have what you have when you're younger but you still have the love and desire to create, to build, to do. So I look for products now that are gonna help me continue this and help me maintain that level of accuracy as I do, as I age, but that's just life. I may spend a little bit more on some of this, but I happen to like Woodpecker. I try to buy as much as possible made in the USA. Woodpecker is, they're in Ohio, they have the shop. They are American workers and I will pay extra for certain things like that because I like to support America and small businesses like myself. The reason I got this is, yes, it's not going to be something I use all the time, but it's going to be very beneficial when it comes to certain applications. And I'm going to just give you a few quick examples why, and you can decide if you want the expense or not, but I'm telling you, I think the six inch and 12 inch are going to be the most used used out of the four. Mainly the 24 and 36 inch I will use for layouts when I'm doing cabinets and stuff. These I will find much more uses for in general purpose. It is a four pack. You can buy individually. This is a new product line. When they came out, I got an email. I was had the opportunity to buy these at an introductory offer and they had an option to get a, well, I'll show you this. It's a storage hanger. So I will take the six inch out and show you. They are CNC machine. They are laser engraved and they are within 0.001 or 0.2. I don't forget what they are. Extremely, extremely accurate. What you do, you this little shelf hanger thing is this. You can mount it on the wall, which I will when I get this thing cleaned up over there. You put this, and this is also a dual function. You can set this little stop marker on here. If you want to make the same mark on multiple pieces of wood, set the stop on there, put this on there, and now you can mark your mark right there. And you can do it over and over and over <laughs> you see so it's a multi-function so you can use it multiple pieces and get the exact same mark every time plus after you get done with your project you want to put them back and store them you have this really nice display rack see so you got the three eighths and three quarter edges take the three quarter edge in first spin it drop it down so all the numbers are facing you on display really nice little rack right here same thing the long one Light them all up that they're ready when you need them. My suggestion for the price, get the whole set. It's not going to break the bank at $90, I think, for 
all four of these and I think for about a with shipping probably about a hundred and a quarter you can have the whole set the rack stops everything I am kind of surprised but I understand metal on here would probably wear this out much quicker and it would scuff up the finish these are plastic and this is a plastic screw but you don't need a whole lot of tension to stop it there to move it onto your piece stops it there and you make your mark so it's okay I thought about that first like well that's kind of cheap but then I thought about it more it makes sense so it will not mark up the finish on this as a metal screw and the metal clamp here would now let's get to a couple examples now one major thing is doing certain projects you really want to have accuracy now in a house if you're off 32nd 64th it's not going to kill it you know there's plenty of room for a little bit of air there certain projects if you want it to be right to the edge pretty smooth with the, the the dimension of the project you don't want that 64 30 second off that just means you have to sand it or you have to try to compensate while you're cutting material for that so just out of curiosity I'm gonna go two inches on this see there is that difference so if I pull on it and I do this I don't know if you guys can see that or not I'm gonna mark this at two inches here's my mark right there I'll take this off. I'm going to flush this. I'm going to flip it to the short end. Flush this to the end. And I'm going to mark my two inches. This mark here is from the edge rule at two inches. Because of the slack in the tip of the tape measure, there's my mark for two inches. See, it's off. It's not that accurate. And that may not seem a lot, but when you're doing an overall project and you want something pretty accurate, that's just that much more sanding you're going to have to do. That's a big reason why I got these, just because doing certain projects, little smaller projects, you want closer tolerances, I, I guess is the best way to explain it. That's why I got these, because I can get a very accurate reading. If I'm doing a face frame, sometimes you got to grab it on there and you scroll down and you're trying to get right on the edge you want to mark right there or something and how many times did it keep sli sliding off you got it ow just like that <laughs> keep popping off you want it right there because you want to mark right here or you got to grab it that end and you're going over the top and it still comes off I know it's kind of a slight exaggeration but you get it you know it, it does happen if you've done any woodworking it happens and I kind of pinch my I had to pinch my finger <laughs> when this stupid thing came up. So now if, I, if I'm trying to make a mark on this edge, depending on which, if I want to go in here a little further or want right on the edge, I can set that on there and it stays. It's not going to flop. It's not going to move. I can either set it at a certain mark, set the mark, and I set it right there. And I can hold it. And it's not going to waver. It's not going to go. And especially on a longer 24 36 inch rule it's going to stay there and I can do along and make my marks without having this as I'm marking trying to get it on there I just went right there and as you see I can't get that over there when I do get it there I went right on the edge it's hard to get it because I went right there versus it's right here and I can mark boom and there's my mark, so I know exactly where I'm going to go. So I can put my other piece here if this is my face frame versus trying to get this to lay there properly. As you see, there's a gap right here. I you can't see. See, there's a gap there. I, so I'd have to get it out further, trying to get my fingers down here to hold it down because I want it right there. It's just, it's cumbersome sometimes to use this. But building a wall, doing framing, yeah, no problem at all. I don't, I, want, I don't want to specialize work, but if I want to get a little more precise work on smaller stock, this is going to be very, very beneficial. That's why I chose it, because it does have a purpose in my shop. It will help me maintain a level of precision that I won't be able to continue using this, at least on, like I said, the smaller projects that are more precise and have much more close tolerances.
So let's say you're doing some maybe improvements or upgrades to existing cabinetry. Just add something to it or I want to put something support in the middle or whatever. So here I am trying to get this here. And again, I have can't get to set there, so I'm gonna have to, I want it right there. So I'm having to hold this to get in there. And you see the gap, I can't get it down because the tape measure is in the way, you know, I just want to make sure I'm, I'm right where I want to be instead of eyeballing it. Now, on this case, I couldn't take anything more than the 12 inch rule, which is fine. And again, I can set it right there. Flip it over. And actually, because this is three quarter inch stock, this is three eighths edge, I can find dead center in my stock here, and then I can mark the ink. And it's right there. I can set it there, mark it, get the 12 inch if I need to go over further. Many benefits to having this, and it works, because I've, again, I've already used this on a few things. So that's another benefit. It's easier to get in to measure something in a particular space or area without trying to get this out or bending it to get in there and trying to figure it out and you only got one hand and you've got to try to mark and this thing kind of flopping around. I've done it, believe me, many times and it's a pain. So this takes care of certain situations. Again, not every aspect, but there are uses for it. And the last little note I will say is this edge is three eighths. This edge is three quarter. So if you're running three quarter stock, you can lay it on edge, scribe this side, and that's your center on that piece of stock, just like I was showing you on that. Or you want more of an edge to set on, you flip it over and lay it on this side. It has its place, as everything does. And this just helps me in a few situations in my shop that are not totally hindered, but sometimes are just kind of wonky, if you will, trying to get it to lay right, because sometimes I want it right on the material so I can get a better, accurate mark versus it being off a little bit. Again, you know, it's just the way it is. The eyes aren't the way they used to work. So thinking ahead, thinking of down the road, this is going to help me maintain accuracy as my abilities for accuracy may diminish a little bit. This is going to help. Check in the description below. I have a link to them, I, to Woodpecker, and I haven't seen them yet because they are new. They may be coming out now because this was, I actually got these over a month ago, I think before Christmas sometime I got them. They may be on Amazon by now. So I'll go check that out. And if they are, just check out the, my Amazon store. They'll have a link to these. Uh, I think that's it. Hope it helps. Maybe give you something to think about. I know it's not for everybody, but maybe the 24 inch, 6 inch, it could be something that would be a benefit to you in your shop. You never know. So I'm just putting it out there. Take away from it what you will. I'm just trying to show you some of the instances and reasons behind why I buy certain things. It help me maintain a little bit of accuracy down the road. I don't, I don't like professional. Again, I don't, I'm not, I don't consider myself professional with anything. I just enjoy and I've been blessed with the ability to do a few things. So thank you so much for watching. Be blessed. Take back check and build it for your sanity. Make sure your projects are accurate. See you next video.